Yo, what's up? It's your Rumi. So I haven't done a screen share tutorial in quite some time on building and uh, launching products using no code tools and platforms. Uh, but I recently shared uh, my Gumroad profile and mentioned that uh, I had updated the guide to no code marketplaces. Um, and I had a few people ask me how I created this landing page and then how I also have the uh, functionality to purchase it, um, which is a kind of Gumroad uh, quote unquote integration. So I wanted to make a um, just this kind of like super brief uh, screen share tutorial on how I did that. Um, before we do though, I do wanna just for some context. So I did create the guide to no code marketplaces a few months ago. You can see it over here. I'm screen sharing like the product hunt launch, um, but it did fairly well on product hunt. It's been downloaded like 3000 times. So I updated the initial guide, um, packaged up a kind of video walkthrough series and then also included uh, a kind of bonus resource, um, a lot of different bonus resources that I'm including in this kind of paid version. I uh, had a lot of people uh, suggest that I actually charge for it because it was that helpful. So I figured why not, and uh, here we are. So um, as I uh, also wanted to mention, I haven't really launched it yet. So uh, I'll just jump into my Gumroad and stuff. Uh, there are a few sales on there, so I won't be able to show you um, some of the different areas of the dashboard since they have the people's contact information uh, from purchasing already. Um, so I'm assuming they just came across it once I shared my Gumroad profile. So we're gonna jump into it though. So we'll just kind of walk through the landing page right here. So that way um, you can see everything. So we're live, uh, this is the live page at guides.everythingmarketplaces.com because this is a resource that is uh, included in the Everything Marketplaces um, group memberships. Um, but for everyone else, um, they can simply buy it right here for $29. Um, you'll see right here, we'll just kind of scroll down. So this is this kind of like top header section. Here's the purchase. We have this kind of see preview content. If they click on that, it uh, goes down to this like on-page section, which is a kind of preview of the table of contents of what's included. And then as we go down below that, we have some more text. And then we have this kind of uh, other call to action button, which is a purchase. And then we have this uh, mention of some text right here, um, which if people will click on this and they'd rather just join the Everything Marketplaces Founders Group, um, since it's included and they intend to, you know, operate and scale a marketplace, they can click on that and join there. So this is a fairly straightforward landing page, um, really doesn't have any functionality uh, beyond this kind of purchase uh, functionality right here. So we're just going to demo this though, just so that way you can see it. So when you click on the buy now, so that pops out right here, this uh, checkout. So this is a checkout on Gumroad, uh, so uh, or Gumroad kind of pop out. So uh, all they have to do to purchase this um, is enter a email uh, and then credit card information and then click on pay. And then the actual confirmation from that will be all the contents that are included with the purchase of the guide to no code marketplaces. So fairly straightforward. Um, anyone can come across that landing page and click on the buy now, enter their email and payment information. So there's a uh, kind of little to no friction involved in that. Um, there is this kind of like pop out, so it takes like a second to load, um, just since it's like a like a uh, an actual kind of uh, redirect and kind of confirmation from there. But it's not really a big deal. So uh, we'll just kind of go up right here. So as I did mention, the uh, way that I actually built this, the two different tools and platforms uh, are Card and then Gumroad. So we're going to jump into Card right now, which is the actual kind of landing page builder for this landing page right here. And then we'll jump into Gumroad and I'll just kind of show you um, that product on my Gumroad uh, user profile and then how I created the link, uh, which I then kind of uh, included as the redirect on this button. So right, so we're going to, this is uh, my actual card account right here. So I'm already in the project. Uh, so that's loaded right here. You'll see, so this is directly in the editor for card. I'm just going to click X right here. So you can see the full page. Um, but I'm just going to walk through all the different elements of the landing page and then uh, show you how that button kind of functionality actually works. So this is fairly straightforward. These are, you know, this kind of top, like uh, this, this header section is just like a columns. So it's a two column kind of um, uh, container right here. And then this all, everything on the left right here are different text elements that I added. Um, this is a button element and this is a text element below. And then this is an image element over here, which is kind of like a, a mock of the guide to no code marketplaces. So uh, you might be wondering how this kind of, uh, when you click on that, it kind of takes you down to this uh, section. Um, so I'll just show you that right here. So uh, what I did for that uh, text is I simply put like a link and then this right here, you'll see the, uh, the content 
actually is a kind of section page or sorry, a section on that page. So that's how I have that functionality. The only other real functionality is going to be the actual kind of purchase uh, capability. So that's this button right here. So I do want to mention that uh, there is a widget a functionality on card where you can simply embed a widget for the Gumroad kind of button. But you'll notice that this doesn't look like a Gumroad button. So I want this to be styled a little bit nicer. So this is like a blue button um, that kind of fits the overall kind of like design and look and feel of the Everything Marketplaces site and then this guide in itself. Um, so that's the primary reason why I chose to go with this button versus like an embed of the Gumroad uh, button, which quite, it sounds like quite a few people are looking to do the same. So you can see right here, so it's a button uh, with a label. So that text on it is simply the label. Uh, the uh, shopping cart kind of icon is simply by clicking on this cart icon. And then the actual functionality, you'll see the URL. Um, so on the click event right here, it, this URL uh, is an actual kind of Gumroad uh, URL for the product. And you'll see the guide to no-code marketplaces. Uh, we're gonna, I'll take you into the Gumroad kind of account. So that way you can see how I generated this. Um, but uh, I just want to mention right now, just to point it out, the question mark and then the wanted equals true is what uh, is what kind of differentiates this. So it's not the actual just the product um, link. So fairly straightforward. Um, these other kind of sections down here are actually just text in themselves. Uh, some, some such as this kind of uh, uh, this container right here, You'll notice that um, it looks pretty well designed. Uh, it's not just like simply white. So I did some kind of, uh, uh, there are some over here. I'll just show you right here in the settings. So the styles, um, I did add some uh, custom styles. So you'll see like this text right here. So you'll notice like the custom styling right here on the text and then also on the highlights and, and stuff. So that's how I actually kind of created this to be a little bit uh, better design. Same thing with the tags right here. So that's the card for the landing page. Uh, as I mentioned, it's fairly straightforward. It's literally just like uh, a bunch of different elements on the page and then uses that Gumroad, uh, that actual URL. So let's jump over here into my Gumroad account. So um, if you're not familiar with Gumroad, it's uh, very easy to get started creating an account. Uh, you can do so you know, at gumroad.com. Um, I signed up you know, more recently, uh, which is long overdue. Um, and you can see over here, uh, this is going to be the actual product. So uh, I have one product right now, which is the guide to no code marketplaces. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, three people actually purchased it, as I mentioned earlier. So there's three sales, like $87 from it. And I haven't even launched it or anything or shared the actual URL. It's simply just people coming to that guides.everythingmarketplaces.com from existing traffic um, or, uh, you know, uh, potentially when I shared my Gumroad profile. So you'll see my profile right here. And then you'll see that it is added right here is a uh, product that's publicly listed. So that's probably how people came across it and purchase. So let's just go back over here to the product. So that way we can see how we got that URL and how that, uh, you know, then we added it to the button for that uh, purchase functionality on the actual landing page. So you'll see over here, like the name for it, the description, fairly straightforward. Uh, one thing I did do, um, just because I'm relatively new to Gumroad, uh, we actually had Sahil on, who's the founder of Gumroad, on one of our Everything Marketplaces group chats. So you can check out the video in my uh, in my channel from the past a few months ago. Uh, so yeah, so I kind of uh, a little bit late to the game on Gumroad. Um, but uh, you know, when I created this uh, description, what I did is I actually just uh, tried to find uh, others who had kind of similar books or similar guides that perform well on Gumroad and a lot of people were talking about. And I kind of modeled my description and even this kind of image and everything about the guide um, around, you know, what they did. And of course, you know, specific to what I'm selling though, which is the guide to no code marketplaces. So that's just kind of a tip you can use. Um, so that way, you know, hopefully it has like an optimized kind of uh, product listing description, um, you know, visual kind of images and whatnot. And, uh, you know, you can generate as much uh, sales from that as possible. So you'll see over here, this kind of summary and then the additional details um, down here, we have the different cont uh, contents. So I'm not sure if this is best practice with Gumroad or not, but I actually uh, kind of made a um, personalized uh, thank you note uh, that also has uh, instructions on, you know, all the contents that are included, how they can access them, you know, if they can't for some reason here, um, and then uh, how to reach me and then join the Everything Marketplaces group uh, if they need any help uh, once they actually build and launch their no-code marketplace. So that's what this like purchase thank you note and info is for. I have the actual guide right here, which is a PDF. 
uh, have the bonus marketplace ops uh, support guides, email templates and whatnot. So I included those as uh, bonus uh, resources with the purchase. So that way people wouldn't just, you know, understand how to, you know, first off build a marketplace using no code, but then how to actually operate it and some of the nuances around that. So that's what these bonus, um, you know, resources are for. Also included a bonus share tribe doc and resource doc right here. So those are all the different uh, contents right there. Then the pricing right here is fairly straightforward. Uh, and so that's the whole kind of um, over here, the actual kind of product and uh, the edit for my direct uh, Gumroad account. So we're gonna go over here to checkout. And this is, um, you can see, this is all fairly straightforward. All these, uh, you know, this is like the basic kind of fields, whatever is required. Um, and then the share. So this is where we actually uh, are gonna get the URL. So um, there's a few different options. So you can embed the product on the landing page, but I didn't want to do that. Um, I didn't want to embed the Gumroad product. I wanted to have my own kind of custom style landing page that you see at guides to everything marketplaces.com. Uh, I also didn't really want to use like that widget button, which is right here or like the buy my product. So I didn't want to embed this on the landing page either. As I mentioned before, I wanted to have a little bit better kind of branding um, that matched the guide and then the everything marketplaces group. So what I did is, uh, first off, I made sure this auto trigger, the payment form is selected. And then you'll see this URL right here. Um, so the gum.co, and then you'll see uh, right here. So it's the title, so the guide to no code marketplaces, and then the wanted true. So as I kind of mentioned and tried to point out below the URL for the button, this is where I grabbed that URL from. So uh, we'll go back over here into the card account so you can see uh, specifically what I'm referring to. But on the button, you'll see the URL. So on the click, um, that is the right here. This is going to be, uh, and then, yeah. And then I added right here the buy my product uh, to it also. So uh, basically you can grab the uh, gum.co slash the product name. You can, and then, uh, actually, it's a little bit more than that. So yeah, it's going to be the question mark, the one it equals true, and then you'll see the target blank and then buy my product. So that way, it's not going to be like a, a full uh, product embed. It's not going to be the Gumroad button embed, but it's actually going to prompt to be that checkout uh, from a click event on a button. So fairly straightforward um, on how to do that. You know, uh, first I'll create the landing page and card and then how to do that in Gumroad. Um, of course, you'll still have your product uh, added to your user profile on Gumroad. So hopefully that is some extra kind of visibility if you share your profile or that, you know, individual page. But if you're looking to build a more custom page and sell a digital, you know, book, uh, PDF, uh, guide or whatnot, um, you know, on a custom landing page um, and, you know, have a little bit better branding, I would definitely suggest using card as I did and then use uh, the functionality of the kind of um, that confirmation using Gumroad. So fairly straightforward. This is completely built using no code. Um, and probably, you know, you could probably do it in 30 minutes, an hour at most, even if you haven't used Gumroad. So we'll just kind of do like a final walkthrough so that way you can see it. But we have this landing page, guides.everythingmarketplaces.com. Um, and this is the live uh, page right here. We have this kind of uh, purchase right here, this button, which uh, just prompts this kind of confirmation for the checkout, which is uh, for someone to simply enter their email and then their uh, credit card information. And then they will then have access to all the contents of whatever, you know, PDF um, that are, you know, guide or, or book or any kind of digital product that you're selling them. So once again, this is fairly straightforward. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, as I did mention, I haven't launched this yet. I'm probably going to launch it soon, but I did already have a few people ask me questions on how I built this landing page and then had this functionality uh, for people to be able to purchase it directly through Gumroad um, from this button. So uh, I want to just go ahead and get this video out. So that way, hopefully it, uh, you know, uh, is helpful to some, um, you know, if you did find this video helpful, definitely uh, hit that uh, thumbs up button. It helps the algorithm and uh, subscribe to the uh, video. And then if you have any questions, uh, just comment below because I definitely uh, check the comments and uh, try to answer them all and then make all my videos based off what you want to hear next. Thanks.